Ride Your Wave gave me uh, PTSD. Y- you want to know why? Summer of 16, baby. T- 2016, not 1916. Sorry, I'm not that old yet. Well, anyway, I took a surfing camp, and, well, um, I got hit by my surfboard in the face, and also I threw up on the first day of that of that surfing camp. So, obviously, I was a little um, absolutely horrified going into this movie, given the uh, subject matter, but honestly, it was genuinely amazing. So let's talk about it. Ride Your Wave is an anime film directed by Masaki Iwasa, who also directed Devilman Crybaby and Keep Your Hands Off Isaacin. Let's go ahead and start this video with the usual, a quick synopsis. Ride Your Wave is about Hinako Mukaimizu, a surfer, and Minato Hinageshi, a firefighter, both of whom live in the same oceanside town. One day, Minato saves Hinako, and they begin to get along and start going out. But then, well, I mean, I don't think this is a spoiler because it is in the trailer, but basically, Minato goes out to get some surfing practice, and then he ends up dying while, while saving another person's life. <laughs> So, that, that kind of sucks. Anyway, later, as Hinako is talking with Minato's sister, and also one of his friends, whose real name is actually Wasabi, which is ridiculous, she begins to see Minato in the water she's drinking. She learns that Minato's spirit is unable to move on because he pledged to always be with her, and from there, the story follows her learning to move on from his death and, well, eventually his spirit leaving. Okay, with the synopsis out of the way, let's talk about the writing. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this now, this movie is absolutely not one of those super deep analysis filled movies with a meta commentary on the socio-eco-political-nomic state of the planet or anything, okay? It is a straightforward, feel-good movie about love. That's right, for all you simps out there, there's now a movie about what life with your favorite e-girl, e-boy, or e-non-binary person would be like. But in all seriousness, the movie's writing really did hit hard, despite how cheesy and simple it may seem. I really liked every single character in this movie, and I thought they were all distinct and fun, with the interactions between them feeling genuine, and also, like, really funny a lot of the time. I thought that in general, the pacing was good and didn't feel like anything was particularly rushed or didn't really make sense. Next up, let's talk about the animation. You guys are just gonna have to get used to me talking about the animation when it comes to anime movies, okay? This movie is obviously not an exception to that. Unlike movies like Weathering With You that use darker color palettes to make some things feel sadder and more grim, Ride Your Wave made a really good use of a bright and shiny color palette, which you could say swimsuits the movie really well. You get it? The animation itself is just really, really fluid and energetic, which helps to make the movie just more and more lifelike. And again, for people who really care, there are a few food scenes in this movie, though they aren't particularly crazy. Nothing on like Ghibli or Makoto Shinkai type things. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to my final overview. Ride Your Wave is a simple, cheesy, feel-good movie about love, and I can't say there's anything wrong with that, or that there were things I didn't particularly like about this movie. G-Kids, the people who had the licensing rights to this movie, only put it in theaters nationwide for one day, which is an absolute shame given how good it was, but if you ever get a chance to see this movie, please, please take it. You won't be disappointed.